Hey guys, my name is Lily. How are you doing? Today I want to install my rainwater catchment system and I've already bought some black rain barrels last time I was in the hardware store. So I got three of them and one has 120 liters of water capacity, which is great. And the material that they are made from is HDPE, so it's food grade plastic. And yeah, I got three of them now and I also bought some stones here. And the next thing is I have to install a new rain gutting system, as you can see. So I already uh, have opened up the rain gutter here in the middle and then I will replace the connection part with this thing here. And if this fits today, then I can go to the hardware store again and buy the rest of the rain gutting system. And by the way, this is a very big roof. So I will only be collecting half of the roof's water and the other half goes into the rain gutter which is right at the corner here of the building. And also what I want to mention is that this is the north side of the house so no sun is touching the rain barrels. And the next thing what I did is I went for black rain barrels because I don't want to have algae growth inside of them. So. Yeah, I've seen some other more fancy containers, but most of them were semi-transparent and yeah, I didn't want to have a semi-transparent container. <laughs> this was easier than I thought. This looks really nice now. So this is where we are. Pretty cool. Awesome. I'm finally done with the rain gutter and I'm really proud of it because this is the first time that I've built a rain gutting system and now I will try to connect the rain gutter to my barrels. Alright, so here's the connection system. It says that I have to pre-drill a hole of 7.5 millimeters, then use the drill which comes with the kit and then I need to insert the rain catchment system. Okay, so this is pretty clear and then I also need to make a connection in between the barrels and for that I have these parts and also I need to install a overflow pipe, which is this one, overflow elbow with counter nut and seal. This is in, out, and now I have to connect this to the rain gutter so the overflow goes back into the rain gutter. Alright, so most of the work is done. Now I only need to connect the other two barrels. Yeah, the only thing is that I'm running out of light so I'm going to postpone this project to either tomorrow or the next day. 
All right, guys, so it's the next day and we had a huge rainfall in the night and you can see that a lot of this water collected here on the lid and I've already emptied this lid and now let's take a look uh, inside of the rain barrel. Yeah, nice, nice. So it's filled all the way up to here, which is pretty good. And this is where the uh, rainwater comes from, from the rain gutter. So it goes inside here. And this is the uh, overflow pipe and it seems to work because now the water is filled up to here and that's just perfect. <laughs> so now I wait until the water is drained out. And now I want to say something about this barrel here. So I got this one like one year ago and it was really expensive because it looks much more beautiful in this dark gray and it has a very flat form. So it looks awesome, but I shouldn't have bought it and that's because it doesn't have a lid. So you cannot open this thing up and therefore you cannot clean it. And that really sucks. So I don't know. I think I, I will uh, sell this container and maybe get more of the black containers. So I think I'm going to shorten the hoses because then the space in between the barrels is really big and I don't want to waste space. So I'm going to take off the hoses again and cut them off maybe here. So this looks good and now the last barrel. Okay, finally I got the system installed. And now we need to test it and see if there is a leak or not. Alrighty, so I filled up the barrel above the connection part and they are all underwater now. And so far it looks really good, so I cannot see any water drops coming down. So I think that this is sealed and waterproof. Awesome. All right, next I want to drill holes into the lid to make sure that the air can escape when the water comes into the barrel. And also I want that the rainwater, which collects on top of the lid, goes inside of the barrel. One, two, three. And I do the same thing for the other lid. And also I have bought this pump here. This is an electrical pump and the reason why I'm doing this is because a normal spigot is really really slow. So if you open it up this is all you get. So it always takes three minutes of time to fill up one small container. So this is too slow in my opinion. I'm not going to wait five minutes for every time I need some water and this is why I have bought this electrical pump here and now I want to install it. Now this end seems to be the suction part 
and I'm going to hang this into the last barrel so I'm going to drill a hole in the lid up here and then I just put it inside of the barrel moment of truth nothing um, maybe this thing doesn't work because the hose is so high maybe I should drill a hole into the side so that the water uh, comes out with a little bit of pressure into the pump Amy hello mouse pee pee Okay guys, so I have tried out my setup for a couple of days now and I gotta say that the pump works great but I have to say that I don't really like the suction hose with this setup here because if there's air inside here then it's really hard to get the pump started. Yeah, and this is the reason why I don't want to use the suction hose anymore. It's a great hose, it's working and if you have a flooded house for example this will definitely help you out in a flooding situation but I think in this setup it doesn't really I mean it works but it's not handy and this is why today I want to install a bigot at the side here of the last barrel and then I'm just going to attach a normal hose a garden hose which I can then attach to here with just one click and because the bigot is so low then the water will get pressed out of the bigot right into the pump and I don't have to worry about any air coming into the suction hose anymore. So I'm really happy that I got this set here. It happens to have all of the sizes that I need for installing my rainwater catchment system and I got this set very cheap on Amazon so I'm really happy that I bought it although back in the days when I bought it I thought that I would never need it, but you really need something like this, so I'm really happy that I bought this. So now I can attach this hose here and the other end goes into the pump. And if I just want to fill up the watering can, I remove the hose and fill up the can like this. And if I'm using the pump, um, I just put on the small hose here. And now I have to fill up this thing and see if it's really watertight. Okay, the water is now above the spigot and it seems to be waterproof. Yeah. Okay, on my pump I have installed another quick release connection part and this goes now into here and now the system should work perfectly. Okay, so now my first rain um, harvesting system is done and I really love the system I think it's pretty awesome but it's not enough water for a drought and I need more capacity and this is why I have decided to get four more of these barrels and I have a little bit more space here at the side uh, where the table tennis table is right now 
So I'm going to remove that and I will put in four more barrels and attach them to the other rain gutter at the corner. And then I should have enough of water capacity for my vegetable garden. And I didn't realize that I need so much water for my garden. So 240 liters per watering is a lot. And now I'm really happy that I made the system because it made myself aware how much water I'm needing for my garden. And up until now I was just buying this water from the community which was costing me a lot of money. And in just two or three months or so the cost that I spent on these rain barrels will come back into my pocket. So I think this is a really important prep, not only just for saving money but also for potential droughts and I want to get prepared for that. Alright guys, so this was my rainwater harvesting project and I think it worked out really nice, especially because I was doing this the first time. So I'm really proud of the system and I'm definitely going to install more barrels like these. Okay, so thank you guys for watching and stay tuned till next time.